Dear customer, we thank you for purchasing the Biospec uh, tissue tier. Unigenetics Instruments is an exclusive distributor in India for Biospec products. This is really a very, very simple machine, plug and play machine, but still we are giving a small demo how to run the machine and how to open the probes and how to change the probes. So this tissue tearer, Biospec tissue tearers are, comes in three volume probes. One that can do up to five ml, second can do up to 50 ml and third can do up to 1000 ml or one liter. This is a small probe, which is a five ml volume probe. So you can see that this is a manual speed controller. If we, we can increase the speed from here. So I'm just giving the power. Uh, make sure that never run the tissue tearer dry. Always run in a solvent or water. So this is the water. Though this uh, volume is much bigger, this is supposed to be run within 5 ml volume. So dip your probe. Make sure that the probe, the probe length is considered only this much. So while running, do not immerse more than half of the probe length. The maximum probe length that you can immerse in the water or solvent is half of this total length. So dip it in your sample and change this, increase it one by one. Next, next, next. So this probe can, this motor can run up to 35,000 RPM. So extreme right, at extreme right, it runs at 35,000 RPM. It is very important that you should clean the probes after the run. For cleaning, after your sample run, you can give a run of 20-30 seconds in uh, distilled water or 1 is to 10 uh, HL solution. So now we are going to demonstrate how to take the probe out and change a different probe. So this probe is considered into two parts. One is called stator and one is called rotor. The outer part is called stator. So this is a hand tight. Just open the stator and pull it out. Now this is your rotor part. Also it is very important that you never run the machine stator out. If you will run the machine with only rotor, the rotor may bend. So never do that. Never run dry, never run without stator. So there is a small spanner. What happens that this is moving freely and there is one small switch. This is called motor locking switch. Press it and you see that now it is not turning. So put the spanner and rotate it anti-clockwise. Open it. So now you can see that in the rotor there are three parts. This is the rotor. This is called collet nut. And this is called collet pin. So the collet pin direction should be like this. The flat portion will be out. Like this. So now what we are doing, it we are changing, we are putting a different probe, which is a 1000 ml probe. In this probe also, this is the uh, rotor and this is the stator. Here one more important thing is that the collet nut is slightly different of 1000 ml probe than 50 ml and 5 ml probe. It is slightly bigger. And the second difference is in this, you can see that there is no collet pin. So in 1000 ml probe, there is no collet pin. So insert the collet nut in the rotor like this. So this is your motor. Lock the drive so that it, it doesn't move. Press it inside and by hand, Tighten this collet nut on the motor drive, screws. Hand tight it and where it stops, again,
tighten it further with the help of the spanner. Make sure that this should be tight and good tight. Otherwise, it may happen that while running, the rotor may come out. So, rotor is fixed. Now, insert the stator straight and there are threads. Tighten the stator on these threads. So, now your probe is changed. Again, I am running, giving a small run. So the maximum speed is 35,000 RPM. This probe can take volume up to 1 liter or 1000 ml. We do hope that this demo will help you in running the machine. But still, if you have any further queries, always free, feel free to contact Unigenetics. Thank you so much.